there is no location data captured anywhere in Trace Together. So please rest assured, your personal information is safe in the system. We only collect your mobile number. It is well protected. Nothing in the information that is exchanged between devices will ever trace back to your phone number without proper authorization, without your permission. Hi, my name is Jason Bay. I lead the team at GovTech, Government Digital Services. We spent the last eight weeks working on Trace Together. Government Digital Services is a team of 300 software engineers and designers. We are a team of thinkers and doers, working with code, pixels and people. The idea behind Trace Together is it's really just a magic notebook or an assistant that follows you everywhere and whenever you are in close proximity or when you are near other people um, who are also in the Trace Together program, Trace Together exchanges information with these other devices and it keeps a log of the people that you've been close to. Eventually, if somebody within the Trace Together community or network or is diagnosed with COVID-19, then the app allows us to figure out who might be close contacts, uh, allows MOH to more quickly reach out to those people who are close contacts of an infected individual. So I think to be very clear, Trace Together is not a COVID-19 detection app. You cannot bring it around to people and, 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 and test them and diagnose them. We cannot replace activity mapping, we cannot replace contact tracing. This only adds additional information into that process. All of that information about where you went still needs to be obtained through a verbal interview. But what Trace Together can do is to provide additional information to the contact tracer so that he can make determinations as to what your risk exposure is, what are the appropriate steps and actions that you should take to protect yourself and others around you. We've designed it so that we collect very little personal data. The only information, only information that you ever give is your phone number. That phone number is stored, it's locked away in a secure server and the application, the system generates, you know, nicknames or uh, randomized identifiers uh, that are encrypted and that are protected through multiple layers of uh, encryption and scrambling so that what is actually exchanged is information that cannot be used to trace back to an individual. We minimize the amount of information that we collect that ties back to an individual. All of the information that we ever collect through the system is stored locally on your own individual mobile phone. It is not available to MOH, to see, to spy on. Uh, we do not have that information available. The only time that information leaves your phone is when you are asked by your contact tracer to upload the information. There is no location data captured anywhere in Trace Together. There are many features that phone manufacturers build into their devices. On iOS especially, battery saving is a very important feature within the iOS system. And in order to conserve battery, the amount of scanning that Trace Together can do in the background is limited. So for that reason, we recommend that people keep Trace Together in the foreground. And you can do this through what we call the Power Saver mode. If this is your Trace Together app, every time the radio animation icon animates, it's because there is an exchange of information with one other device in its vicinity. If you want to keep the app in the background, what you can do is to flip the phone over, the screen blanks, we call this Power Saver mode. And this allows the device to continue to scan and exchange information with other Trace Together users uh, while minimizing the battery drain on your screen because the screen is one of the most um, power hungry features on phones. So around Chinese New Year, when the idea for this app first started, uh, we had an open call within our team and a group of volunteers came together. Now, because they all have their existing projects, they've had to juggle their existing projects as well as their work on Trace together. Um, but I think the importance of the mission was strong enough that these people, you know, my teammates, came together, banded together, got to know each other, worked together well to deliver this app and to deliver this in support of our healthcare workers who likewise, I think, have been you know, very much on the front lines and very much taxed and very much working very hard without rest for the last two months to help Singapore fight COVID-19.